to your parents to sign. They can mail them in. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, don't you have to tell Mrs. Goldsmith I'm here? Oh, she's in all afternoon. <laughs> she's a freak. You got straight A's in subjects we don't even offer. Certainly not in the 11th grade. Uh, may I ask why you left West Mount to come here? My parents are getting a divorce. There wasn't any money for tuition. So it goes, kids, so it goes. I'm going to recommend that you skip 11th grade and go straight into 12th. Yeah? To save you from terminal boredom. Yeah, sure. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Why don't we keep things in a positive vibration? What do you say? I know we're not what you're used to here, but we have some very good teachers here and some really nice kids. I'm sorry. Don't be. After all, you have an adjustment to make. There's a new group opening up that I'd like to turn you on to. Um, I'm not too good in groups. I get tongue-tied. You can come, take a look at it, see how you like it. It's kind of an open discussion group. Kids like yourself from broken homes come together and share experiences. With strangers? Feelings of feelings. Sometimes talking about them can help. We meet Tuesday at 4. And I think it's room 311, but it'll be posted out there on the bulletin board. Okay. We're called Divorced Kids. Divorced Kids. Okay, well, I'll, I'll think about it. Would you leave me alone, please? Would you leave me alone, please? Miss, could it you shoot? Uh, who's gonna make me, honey? You? No. Me. Okay. New girl's looking for trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the new girl's got an old man already. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of puny to play Superman. Ain't you, baby? <laughs> Here you go. It's always like this here? Uh, just sometimes. My name's Tony Malik. Andrea Hoffman. Andrea. It's your first day here? Yeah, well, the secret is just to not let anyone know you're scared. If you act cool, they'll leave you alone. Thanks. I'll see you. Bye, Andrea. The new kid, Josh something or other. I heard he transferred from Brentfield. He's sure big. Look how he's dressed. He looks like he's going to a party or something. Yeah, but he's kind of cute. Cute? I think gross. Well, what I meant was, he's cute if you like elephants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't have anything contagious. Well, I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? I don't know. I'm sorry. You just started here? Yeah. If they don't like you right away, you're dead. It's real snobby. Wonderful. You new here too? No. I'm a gymnast. Huh? I don't have time for friends. Why? Because I practice four hours every day after school and six on the weekends. I'll be eligible to go to the Olympic trials next year. My parents expect me to go. Perfect. Now, if I can just get finished in time, your mother will be in business. Hmm. <laughs> Mama, I want to talk with you about something. How is the old fool anyway? Uh, Dad's fine. Listen, you know how I was always planning to go to UCLA? Some fine. The six-pack king himself. Boy, how a guy can change. He's pretty unhappy. Is he seeing anyone? I don't know. Mom, listen, please. I'm going to apply to Juilliard School of Music. No kidding. Ah, good afternoon. 
So nice you could make it back. What were you saying, honey? I've decided I want to be a classical guitarist. I'm serious about it. You could starve to death in classical music. Will you turn that down, please? Yeah, well, I could starve to death being a teacher or a lawyer. At least at Juilliard, I'll have the best musical training in the world. Your father can barely pay the rent. How can he afford Juilliard? It's in the East. Well, I have a good chance at a scholarship. I've made an audition tape of one of my compositions. I think it's pretty good. And speaking of rent, your father was supposed to send me 300 bucks from our joint tax refund. It never came. You tell him for me, I expect it by Friday. Mom, I don't want to be a messenger boy. So I have a class tonight anyway. I better get going. Tony, your father talks like I'm the villain of this piece. Honey, I'm no villain. He has dumped on me for years, and you know it. Yeah, well, I'll give you a call next week. Bye. I love you. I'm going this way, too. Okay, if I walk with you? Yeah. I'm Denise. I'm Josh. Hi. Where'd you go before here? Brentfield Academy. What'd you do, get kicked out? No. My folks are getting a divorce, so we moved. Join the club. My folks have been separated for three months now. It's a real drag. I only get to see my father on the weekends. Yeah. I think they're gonna get back together, though. My daddy and I are really close, and he just can't bear to leave me, you know? I won't oppose a divorce, but I want joint custody. I don't want to debate you on this, Walter, but a little girl growing up belongs with her mother. And with her father, and not just on Sunday. I, look, I'm not trying to take her away from you. I just want to share her. You can't shuttle a child back and forth like a commuter train. It's completely unfair. And what's this supposed to do to her schedule? She's a national competitor, Walter. She needs stability. She needs one home, one bed to sleep in, one responsible parent to supervise her life. Just because we couldn't live together doesn't mean I'm not responsible. I have every right to have her with me half the time, and I'm going to insist on it. Hi, Daddy. Hello, baby. Hi. Practice in 45 minutes, sweetheart. Daddy, can you take me to practice today? We can get the leotards. Oh, and Mildred wants to talk to you about taking some of the other kids to the meet next Saturday. You know how much I love you, don't you, princess? You going ahead with the divorce? Yeah, well, uh... <clears throat> Listen, why don't we sit down for a minute, okay? Well, your mom thinks we should. You've been lying to me. You've been pretending everything was going to be okay, but it's not. But it's not going to change anything between us. Yes, it will. Once you get the divorce, you'll never be around anymore. That's not true. My new apartment is just a few blocks away. You're going to be staying with me for half the week. Mom won't let me. Oh, Mom, I mean, she's just a little upset right now. Look, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take my books back to the apartment, and I'll call you later. I'll take you to get your leotards tomorrow, okay? No, Daddy, wait! Daddy! Daddy, don't take your books, please! It was all my fault! I made Mama nervous. That's why you and she couldn't get along. But I promise, Daddy, I'll be good. I'll be real good. Denise, you must understand. None of this has anything to do with you. Everything's gonna be all right. You'll see. We're all gonna be fine. Please don't go, Daddy. Daddy, don't leave me. Please don't go. Oh, this 
room's so small, I keep wondering how we're going to fit the piano in. We sold the piano? Yeah, I know. I just keep forgetting. Joshy, I'm scared. I don't understand why this is happening to us. Me either. Mom, hi. Where have you been? I was at Hamilton's office. He was very busy. Anyway, he heard from your father. I knew Daddy would call. What did he say? That he's sorry. And uh, he's doing the best he can. And he sent love to you two. He wants to see you. When? As soon as it can be arranged. He's in Florida right now. Figures. Probably living it up in some resort. Well, I don't care. I want to see my father. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. Look. I figured out how much we have in the bank. And we're only good for about two months. And then what? There isn't going to be any then. I'm drawing up a survival plan. You what? I've made us a plan. You know, survival time. You're looking at a man with a job. You're not even 13 yet. What kind of job could you get? Box boy at the grocery store. I went down there after school today and lied about my age. It was a cinch. Oh, Joshy, I love you. <laughs> Come on, Ma, pay attention. Okay. Now, you graduated college. You've raised a ton of money for charity. It's time you raised some for yourself and us. Mother, get a job? Doing what? Good question. I don't know. Let's take a look. Um, accounts receivable? Are you serious? It's true, I'm not famous for balancing checkbooks. <laughs> okay, alterations, no. Um, answering service? Well, I've had plenty of practice there. Mother, you don't know how to do any of this stuff. Well, Andrea, I'm going to have to learn. Um, here it is, appliance salesperson. Oh, come on. She's used plenty of washing machines, why couldn't she sell them? She could, she could. Believe it or not, Andrea, there probably is a place for me out there in the real world. I think I'm going to have to find it. girl over there? The big blonde one. Yeah, I sure do. Put your eyes back in, Joshua. She's a witch. Oh, right. She's also my main competition in the meet. Well, she's just probably one of those beautiful, clumsy girls. No, she's good. But I'm better. My father always tells me that if I don't believe I'm the best, no one else will. It looks so hard. Is it any fun? Fun? What does that have to do with anything? Well, if it's not fun, why do it? To be the best. Very good. Okay, that's enough on the bars. Get to work on the floor. Okay. Okay, cutie. Up and at him. Come on. Stop. Your kips are terrible. Thanks a heap. You're welcome. Now go on over to that single bar and work on that extension. Come on. Wait, wait. What happened to your concentration? 